What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video I'm going to show you the camera performance of the Sony Xperia Z2. So basically this is the complete camera review of the Sony Xperia Z2. So let's get started and let's start from the hardware front. The Sony Xperia Z2 has the 20.7 megapixel uh, sensor and the sensor size is uh, bigger than the regular smartphones. It has one by 2.3 inch sensor and it has the Sony G lens. It is capable to produce the videos up to 4K and it can actually downsample the photos from 20.2 megapixels to 8 megapixels provided if you want to do that to improve the quality of the photos. It has the dedicated camera shutter button and if you hold the shutter button long enough you will be able to launch the camera app. Let's look at the camera interface first and then we can move to the sample photos and the videos. The camera interface mostly remain the same if you have seen the camera interface of the Sony Xperia Z1 and the Z1 Compact. The first top right button basically will allow you to open the gallery app and here you can review your photos. The next button available is the shutter button, then you have the movie record button and you have the mode button. Right now the camera is in the speeder auto mode and this is where the Sony magic actually happens. On the left hand side the first button is to control the flash, the second one is to switch between the front and the back camera and let's open the menu button. There are a number of options available. You can change the aspect ratio, self timer, smile shutter and preview on and off and uh, you can actually turn on the bus mode when you long press the shutter button as well. You can turn on the face registration as well. Other main features are like the steady shot which is basically the stabilization during the video and uh, you can turn on and off the mic. And other than that, you can geotag your photos. You can uh, turn on the touch screen to capture as well. You can turn on and off the sound and you can specify the storage where you want to save your photos. So when you press this uh, mode button, you will uh, have access to all these modes. Let's uh, look at these modes one by one. As soon as you enter into the manual mode, you will notice the first difference is there is no movie record button rather there is a mode switch available which you can use to switch between still and movie and there are also scene modes available depending upon the scene you are shooting you can choose the scene here and you can also change the white balance and the exposure compensation and you can also turn on the flash and you can switch between front and rear facing cameras. So basically other options mostly are same except you have uh, HDR available as well. You can change the resolution and you can uh, change the ISO as well. You can uh, change the metering mode and also you can change the focus mode as well. Sony has not uh, fixed the issue that if you turn on the stabilization, the image stabilization, then uh, you cannot change the ISO, it will go to automatic. And if you change the ISO, then image stabilization will turn off automatically. It records a very nice 4K videos with the great image stabilization. So you can actually change the white balance and the exposure value and you can turn on and off the microphone as well as the stabilization. Time shift video is basically the slow motion video and it works uh, in similar principle that I have seen on iPhone 5s. Basically you will record a movie and uh, after you have finished recording the movie you will be given an option to mark the areas that you want to slow down and rest of the areas will actually run in the regular uh, frame rates. I've actually prepared a sample for you and uh, you can uh, watch the sample. So once you are done, you can either review what you have done or you can uh, just save the file. So this is the sample video that I have actually recorded using the time shift video mode. And I'm happy to see that it actually records the audio as well. 
It records the video in 720p. The background defocus is basically a software uh, implementation to blur the background. This shot I took in this mode and it turned out well. However, this uh, does not work very well all the time. AR effect is basically some cartoonish uh, effect that Sony has produced uh, just to add a different flavor in uh, taking the photos. So if you enjoy some something like that and you want to take the photos of your uh, babies or little brothers or whatever among these cartoons then by all means do that. Creative effects are basically the different kind of filters available within the camera app and you can select this uh, filter first and then you can uh, take the shot. Some of the effects are very nice and, uh, and pencil color is my favorite among all effects. Other than that you get the wine, basically it's the same app that you can uh, get on other uh, phones but this is actually integrated within the camera app and also InfoEye is available if you want to search some book, text or QR code then you can take the photo using uh, this InfoEye. And then there is time shift uh, burst which is basically the burst mode. Unfortunately, it is uh, basically just a 30 frame movie which it records and you can uh, select the best uh, frame out of that which is actually good but the problem is the resulting image is only 2 megapixel. Social Live is a way to share your live video with your uh, Facebook friends. It works pretty well. The problem is that the video is uh, quite low resolution. If you use the camera for a long period of time or uh, record the 4K video or use AR effect for quite long time then you will uh, see this happening where the temperature will go up and the camera app will shut down. Taking uh, panorama is easy, you just need to keep the horizon straight. The stitching mostly works fine however the panorama itself is low resolution. So that's how you take the panorama by sweeping the mobile. So now let's look at the sample photos and videos. In the broad daylight, the Sony Xperia Z2 takes uh, excellent photos and pretty contrasty and well balanced photos and uh, not much wrong with it and plenty of detail is actually shown uh, in the shots and I'm very happy to see such kind of performance. However, there are at times uh, white balance issues which we will discuss later. It can take a very nice macro shots. It can uh, freeze the motion in the good light, but there is a lag between uh, pressing the shutter button and the camera actually take the photo. So you need to actually account for that. It also take the HDR photos and uh, mostly HDR photos uh, works fine. However, I would like to see a little bit uh, better HDR as well. However, there is uh, nothing wrong with these. I want to see a little bit uh, more dynamic range.
Although I have shown you the background defocus option in the camera, however this shot is actually taken in the superior auto mode. But since this phone has the f2.0 lens and it has the big size uh, sensor so it can actually defocus the background without using the software effect. But you need to be up close to the subject in order to blur the background. Not everything is perfect uh, with the Sony Xperia Z2 camera. For example, in the broad daylight, it has actually some white balance issues and at times actually it shows uh, blue tint on the photos. That's because uh, of the white balance problem. It is very easy to fix. You need to actually switch to manual mode and take the shot while you switch the auto white balance to the daylight setting and I took this shot on the daylight setting and it came perfectly fine. When you are inside the photo quality actually drops a little bit and it tends to show a little bit of uh, noise and uh, there is some uh, cleaning also going on but mostly still the photos are pretty usable and uh, not that uh, bad quality it actually has done uh, better than uh, most of the phones that i have seen and that's very nice to see the photo quality is still pretty good in the low light in the indoors actually under tungsten light it also shows the white balance issues but still you can uh, fix this white balance now you can uh, switch to the tungsten uh, white balance mode and it will be fine again that's how i corrected this shot At night when uh, you are outside and there is not enough light there is actually noise in the photos but the camera still uh, holds uh, pretty much uh, well and if you are actually careful and you know how you can uh, take the photos and uh, how you want your photos still you can uh, take very nice shots even under the low light. I took uh, this shot and the coming shots in the manual mode and I lowered the ISO to 400 or 200 while uh, holding the phone uh, pretty steady and they actually came out uh, very well and the noise in these shots were actually very less as compared to if I take the shot in auto mode. The auto mode photos are also usable but the manual mode with ISO 400 and 200 outside will be very good these shots were actually taken using the speeder auto mode and this one was using the flash as well let's look at the video quality this particular video was shot in 1080p mode and most of the focusing problem are actually gone but there is uh, however still uh, the focus actually hunts little bit and it uh, waits a little and then it hunts a little bit and uh, everything comes back in focus. However, I want the focusing to be smooth so that there is no visual hunting while recording the video. It records a very nice uh, quality stereo audio and you can use your headphone to hear it. At night the focus uh, still hunts around and the problem is not fully resolved and I hope that the Sony will resolve this problem soon because it seems uh, it is a software issue. So guys I hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and uh, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video and uh, I'll see you later take care.